everybody so welcome back to another vlog video i am feeling something a little bit different i'm in my mum's car hence why there's a bag purse in the back if you have watched bag purse let me know um essentially today i was filming a video and then i had another one planned but it wasn't really i wasn't vibing with it do you know what i mean so i thought do you know what today's the day i've got some time let's go into town and let's do some book shopping i absolutely love watching these videos because i love seeing what people pick up from their local bookshops and things like that and i will be filming a few book clips on my phone only because I don't really want to take this camera into town with me. I live in a very small town, um, so I just don't think it's very wise. And I'm a little bit nervous, not going to lie. So I'm going to film my phone and then kind of update you guys when we're back in the car. Um, but I didn't even know what my camera would be like in my mum's car. I feel like we've got a very good setup here. You can see me. It's great. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive into town. We're going to do some book shopping. I'm going to do a book haul, probably get a coffee. It's a very solo trip i'm doing it all on my own so that's fun it's very hot in here so i am gonna open my window and get going but i hope you guys enjoy the vlog let's do some book shopping i'll update you guys when i've parked because um i'm currently at my house so let's go to town and i can't film because i don't have a tripod so i'll see you there so i have just parked i've just got into town i don't really know what possessed me possessed me possessed 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 me to come into town on a busy saturday at what time is it three minutes to two in the afternoon, which is probably the busiest time to come into town, especially because my town is so small, as I've said. I live in a very small town, um, so when it's busy, it's busy. But anyway, it's really, really hot. I'm also wearing a jumper. Um, I felt like it was autumnal vibes, but I asked my mum, I was like, mum, is it hot out? And she said, no, it's actually quite cold in the shade. Well, in the car, it's very hot. I'm getting clammy. I'm getting very hot. So I might even get myself an iced coffee in town, come back here, show you what I buy. And that is going to be the kind of vibe of this vlog. I'm very excited. I'm actually having a really good time vlogging. I feel like sometimes I put too much pressure on myself to get vlogs perfect and to make sure what I'm saying makes complete sense and that I'm speaking fluently. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when I vlog, I don't want to say, um, and pause and stutter and kind of not get my words out properly however I don't know I'm just really excited about this vlog I've been watching a lot of these vlogs and I'm just really excited to make one of my own um in terms of what I'm looking to buy today I don't really have much plan or thought process I am supposed to be on a book buying ban however Ryan if you're ever watching this video um it's because I had nothing else to film okay this was the only option so I'm gonna go and have a little look about I've got the works in my town and I've got Waterstones and a WH Smith so three bookshops I'm gonna try and get some bargains I don't particularly spend a lot of money on one book at a time like I try to get it as cheap as possible if you know what I mean so that is basically the plans for today and yeah if you guys ever want to know what's on my current wish list TBR that kind of thing I have my goodreads which is just my name add me on there which in my want to read is all the books that I've bought and then on my Amazon wish list which is down below as well you can see what books I want to buy and that is kind of how I go through things and how I sort of organize myself because I feel like if I do it any other way, I just get confused. But anyway, we are going to go. We're going to dive into town. I need a coffee. I'm absolutely melting. You guys can see I'm starting to get a bit shiny. So let's go into town. Let's buy some books. And then I can come back, melt some more, and show you what I've bought. So let's go. <laughs>
Hello, it is much later now, as you can tell by the change of lighting, I also moved my car because I just felt really trapped between those two cars. They're over there. One was a giant Nissan and the other one was a Skoda of some sort, but they were both huge and it made me uncomfortable. So I moved my car. Um, but I am back from doing a book haul. That was really, really fun. I spent a bit more money than I thought I was going to spend. Shock. Um, but I'm going to officially be on a book buying ban in October. So I'll have one more book haul to film, which will be these books, which I'll do in another video, and a couple others, which I bought a few weeks ago. Um, and then October is going to be a book buying ban month because I honestly am getting to that point where... I have more books to read. I have enough books probably now, yeah, easily, to cover me for the rest of the year. I don't need any more books. So I'm on a book buying ban. Anyway, so I also picked up a coffee because um, me and Ryan and Stefan and Kaylee we've all been on a diet. And this is clearly part of the diet. Um, and I wanted to treat myself because it's Saturday. And I haven't eaten today. I'm not saying that that's a good thing, but win some, you lose some, I suppose. It's good. It's a caramel espresso. It's supposedly a frappe, but it's a little bit separated, so I'm not really sure on the situation, but it's strong coffee with some caramel in it, so we're living a dream. Um, I'm just going to put that on the seat, though, because for some reason, I don't know if any of you guys have a Fiat 500, but my mum's got a Fiat 500, a really great little town car, because like I said before, we live in a small town, it gets you from A to B, it's not expensive to run, um, but for some reason, the cup holders are like back here, so it's really hard to like get it, like I can't just pick up, do you know what I mean, it's weird, anyway, I bought some books, so how many books did I buy, you're asking, well, I picked up six, now... <laughs> I didn't mean to pick up six, however, I wanted to pick up some books which I was really looking forward to reading, like a few first books in series that I wanted to sort of delve into. Um, I also just picked up a couple that I've had on my wish list for a long time, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So I am actually going to quickly just put the key in the car because it's very hot. So I need to open a window because I actually am going to melt in a minute, so I don't really know which window to open. This one? Okay. Oh, is that, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? Can you hear things? I'm gonna have to have it open it's far too hot in here so i do apologize anyway books let's dive in so the first place i went to was the works because the works is the cheapest place for books in my opinion i find that you can get really good popular books in the works so before you buy any books on amazon or um in waterstones or anything like that check out the works because they do some really good books like the shatter me series you can get five books for 15 pounds which is insane um the only reason i haven't done that is because i have book one and book two and um i'd be buying three for do you know what i mean I, I still might do that and just give the first two away let me know if you want me to do that because i might do that anyway i went into the works and i found the cheat sheet which i don't think i have a part of me is thinking i have this but i think i have the hating game and i don't have the cheat sheet so future me um if we have this then keep it for a giveaway i don't know but it was three pounds bargain in my opinion this one is about a ballerina and a football player and I'm really really excited about this one so yeah I've heard a lot about it again I'm the more I'm holding it the more I'm thinking I already own this book um that is the first book I bought three pounds bargainess I thought so I had to close the window because it's far too noisy and it is really going to annoy me when I edit this video that that was open but anyway so I just had to move you guys a little bit because I'm not sure whether it was going in and out of focus constantly so if it did I'm so sorry my phone is just going off give me one second oh it's my mum so I went into WH Smith's and they still have their two for 12 pounds on paperbacks which is an absolute bargain so I got two books from there and then I also picked up a third one because my friend Kelsey who I talk about all the time um, she has gone on about this book and has told me that I will absolutely love it and it is a series so I will have to buy the whole series at some point but I wanted to get the first one just to give it a go and I didn't want to get into the habit of buying a whole series if I didn't love it although I am that sort of person that would do that but anyway so the first one I picked up was the Crawl Prince by Holly Black. I'm hoping this is the first one. I didn't Google it when I was in there because the signal in that shop is absolutely diabolical. I had no signal whatsoever. Um, but this is the Crawl Prince. The cover was just stunning. It's got a really beautiful like gold embellishment on it. I just love it. 
so I picked that up because I had been eyeing it up for a while um, and I really wanted it so I picked that up and like I said it was two for £12 so I got that one and the book I picked up to go along with that one was Killjoy by Holly Jackson this is a little novella that goes alongside the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series which you guys know is my favourite book well it's one of my favourite books I actually recently read a book which was just un unbelievable um, simply because of the plot twist at the end I did not expect it so this book I had to pick up I just really needed it to fulfill my series that I have so now I have this and I'm really excited to read it um, I haven't read the other two books yet I'm still needing to read those so I'm excited to have that to finally complete the collection and the last book I bought while I was in Smith's was drumroll please the inheritance games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes this book has been everywhere absolutely everywhere um, and I had to pick it up because like I said my friend Kelsey had been going on and on about this book telling me I would love it it's such an easy read it's not a slow burn it's just such a gripping story apparently the chapters are really short so it's a really great it's just a really great book and I'm not gonna lie to you the US covers of these books are so much better like these aren't great I'm not gonna lie I mean I like the gold embellishment I hate this because it's not a sticker it's just a TikTok embellished like thing and I just I hate that but anyway um, I'm really really excited to read this essentially it's about a girl who gets billions of dollars um, in inheritance from a guy she's never met um, and the only like the only kind of what's the word I'm looking for the only way she can get it I guess that's my <laughs> Is basically to live at their mansion so she goes and lives with all these people that she doesn't know um, and inherits loads of money so I'm excited to read this this one was nine pounds it wasn't part of the two for twelve but I thought I would just pick it up anyway because I have had it on my list for a while and I just felt the need to buy it anyway I need a coffee break because my mouth is dry don't you just love people watching I mean, I love people watching, but I hate it when they see me. <laughs> Tell you what, though. There are some weird creatures where I live, honestly. Not to be horrible. There are some strange people about. But anyway, moving on. So lastly, I went to Waterstones. My friend wasn't working today, so I didn't get to see her there. But I absolutely love Waterstones. It just brings me joy. Like, walking around Waterstones is so therapeutic. I absolutely love it. And a part of me wishes that I'd worked there. Just, I just want the experience of working in a bookshop. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I went to Waterstones. Um, and as soon as I walked in, I saw this book. Now, this is very... Not controversial. This book has been quite hit or miss, I think, because of... I've heard some good reviews. I've heard some bad reviews. But me being me, I want to give it my own real review, and that is Funny You Should Ask by Elisa Sussman. Now, the cover of this book alone is what made me want to buy it in the first place. I absolutely love the cover of this. This is a bit of me. I love the pink, white, and red. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. A very Valentine's theme, in my opinion. I have just noticed that the font is very small. Um, look how small that font is. Kind of gives me the ick a little bit but i am really excited to read this this one was 9.99 um and again i've had it on my wishes for a long time and i thought you know what pick it up now is the time to do so because you're going to go on a ban as of tomorrow it's not october yet but it's coming soon anyway got this i'm really excited to read it i think this is basically about a girl who does an interview with her like a celebrity i think he used to be her celebrity crush or something um and it's kind of how their romance blossoms but i've heard very good and very bad was that english very good and very bad things about this book so i'm excited to give it a read and see for myself and last but not least we bought one more book i thought i only bought five when i was walking and then i looked at my bag and i realized i bought six but anyway i don't think the novella counts so i'm gonna say i bought five um but the last one i bought again has been on my amazon wish list for weeks probably months actually um and that is a million kisses in your lifetime by monica murphy this is I don't know, I've just had this book in my wishes for a while. It is quite a big book. This one is 500 odd pages long, which is going to be the biggest book I've read so far this year. Um, but I'm really excited to read this book. I've heard so many good things. And again, I just love a bit of romance. You guys know me. I love a bit of spice, a bit of romance, a bit of 
kind of fiction. I just love it. So this is going to be really up my street. And I'm really excited about all the books I've bought. So I'm not going to lie. I'm just very chuffed with myself with all my books. So that's everything for this vlog slash... I thought there was somebody behind me then. Is that a bird? I'm parked under a tree, so that's probably not good. I hope they don't pull mum's car because she'll be fuming. That is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy this. And if you guys want to see another one of these videos, do let me know. As I said, I am on a book buying ban, which will it be a full ban for the month? Probably not. You guys know me. I'm very much obsessed with stuff and I won't be able to control myself. But what I might do is... I don't know I'm just going to try my best not to buy books because I have now 52 books in my TBR which is disgusting so I need to control myself um but yeah let me know if you'd like to see another one of these maybe in the future maybe November we can go into like Christmas time maybe get some Christmas festive reads in but yeah I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this kind of video it's something a little bit different I feel like a lot of my content is filmed in my bedroom so let me know if you'd like to see another video sort of similar to this because that would be great and that is everything for this vlog so i'm gonna go drive home now and put these books away on my shelf if there's any room there probably isn't um and yeah thank you so so much for watching i love you guys so incredibly much and i will see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.